and the St. Mary's Church is to be officially demolished. I would certainly hope so. Now, I don't know if they're going to demolish the, in, the entire thing, including the structure in the back, but I think they will because even the structure uh, that is part of St. Mary's in the rear has been damaged. Where's the steeple? <laughs> the steeple, I think, ended up inside the church. <laughs> Amazing amount of damage. I mean, could you imagine if you were like even right near this parking area and or at the uh, the uh, bus stop across the street? Imagine being there and just seeing that steeple just get wiped off. Of course, you probably couldn't have seen it because it would have been rain wrapped as the tornado was going through. But wow, I mean. The tornado goes through, you look at the church, and you're like, what the, you know? <laughs> what the hell just happened? And we got thunderstorms coming in tonight. Clouds are already moving in. But I hope that some of the, uh, I'm hoping that with some of the stained glass that did not get damaged, I'm hoping they uh, at least removed the stained glass before tearing it down. They could use it in another church or, I don't know, auction it, save it for sentimental value. Hopefully they won't have a uh, fast food restaurant or a gas station take its place. Rome has enough of them. We don't need a drugstore or anything like that. You ever notice all you hear in the evening time in Rome, New York is dirt bikes? Dirt bikes and four wheelers. They don't even bother enforcing that anymore. They used to pull them over and confiscate their bikes. Now they don't do anything. Another building damaged. These buildings, I think they're waiting on probably insurance because as you can see, they just haven't done anything with them yet. Maybe f some federal funding. I certainly wouldn't count on any state funding because it seems Governor Hochul has pretty much forgotten about Rome, New York. Uh, she's too busy with the elections. She's gonna be really busy soon. We're just gonna vote her right out of office. This building was heavily damaged. The entire roof was ripped, caved in. So from the tornado, and as I say, flat roofs, buildings with flat roofs, houses with flat roofs got more damage than those with the arched roofs. Odd, something with the wind, I guess, but uh, yeah, the air conditioning units on this building just blowing right off, and those are very heavy. And, uh, I mean, they weigh as much as a small car. And, uh, but now it's just all boarded up. And I question whether they're going to rebuild. A lot of businesses say they're going to rebuild, 
and then they end up not rebuilding. Amazingly, the Capitol Theater sustained very little damage. Happy about that. And the Georgian Arms apartment building, I believe, is still unoccupied. And uh, the tenants think it's going to be like a couple weeks or so before they can move back in. Now, it's, <laughs> it's going to be several months before they can move back into that building. <clears throat> At least they patched up all the uh, basement windows or they sealed them up. People look for opportunities to get into anything. <laughs> look at the way that light right there is just hanging down. You got a light right in the middle there, hanging down. Uh, very little roof damage, like I said, to the arched roofs. Except for this one, but the, uh, the St. Mary's Church is arched, but the damage happened because the wind was going northward the church got a direct hit and the steeple just got ripped off. The weakest structure got ripped off and thrown into the roof. And then the whole roof just, well, a good portion of the roof collapsed. But uh, this back area, as you can see, all the windows were blowing out or in, I should say. A lot of, there is roof damage up there. And, uh, can't notice it from here, but part of this building here, it, uh, really got damaged, the wall area. It, if the twister stayed over this area for just a couple more seconds, this part of this building would have easily collapsed. And I'll show you that in just a few seconds. Hold on. Turn out. There's a door open. Why is the door open? Maybe the police can check that out at nighttime, but why is the door open right there? See the door? Wide open. Wide open. Anybody can walk in there. Let's uh, check that out tonight and secure it. Anything of value, somebody's going to take. And that's right behind the St. Mary's Church. And they cleaned this all up. Uh, there was a lot of debris. See how that wall right there is bulged out a little bit? Yeah. I mean, if the wind stayed over this building just for a few more seconds, that wall would have been gone. So I imagine they're also going to tear all this down. It's just too much for the church to repair.
And of course, a lot of the houses behind the church also received damage. Sorry, I gotta check out the clouds.